three fifths this morning and there's a low fat cheese. There's plant oil spread and whole wheat bagels. But is there a difference between those items and the regular cheese, butter and bagels? Our nutrition coach, registered dietitian Suzanne Farrell from Cherry Creek Nutrition is here with us this morning to talk about all of this. Good morning, Suzanne. Good morning. Yes, we have all these options for how we can maybe make a healthier choice. But at the end of the day, it boils down to taste and if you like it. So we've got some butters and butter spreads and we could taste test to see which, which we like like better, but the option for if you want to lower your saturated fat is to choose potentially a plant oil based spread. So they've got spreads that have canola oil, um, palm, soybean oil, flax. So um, something like Smart Balance or yes, something some, like that. Yes, exactly. Okay, um, so we have Heather and Vicki here and yes. they're going to do a little taste test. Well, you eat. tell us yes, about to see one. which one the differences. you we'll might see like better. if they notice any difference in taste. Well, the plant oil spreads are literally um, half the calories, half the fat, half the saturated fat. So if you need to reduce the saturated fat in your diet, that is a good option. Um, and then another option is whipped butter. Now whipped butter is the exact same ingredients as butter, but it's still half the calories and half the fat because you're just incorporating air into it. So it's really you know, about preference and mm. what you like better. So that you would get the same health benefits with Boy. whipped versus plant -based? The plant-based yeah, one so. has less saturated fat than even the whipped okay. still, um, but calorie for calorie, they are equal. Can you tell um, a difference? Honestly, no. Yeah, I <laughs> okay, yeah, no. great. I'm trying. Yeah, but I, and which I can't. is interesting because there's such a caloric and saturated fat difference that sometimes people are, oh, I don't want to try a different version of the food, but you may just like it. That's why I always suggest just give it a try, experiment with it. Mm. Okay, as far as we these do spreads need to are concerned, along, yeah, do you no have difference. a favorite? Fine. No difference. Yeah. Okay. We have cheese and low fat cheese. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Give it a quick taste. Each. See if you can tell the difference. I feel like I can't tell the difference on low fat cheeses. Right. And so the idea that I think years ago in fat free came out. It didn't leave a good taste. Mm -hmm. um, however, there's reduced fats. And I think because cheese is consumed so frequently <laughs> that like, it's, yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah, so it's, it's lower in fat. It's a third less fat, the reduced fat cheeses. Um, so is I, this one full fat? That one is, no. <laughs> All right, then I can't tell. Yeah, no. that okay. one is, that's the reduced fat cheese. So again, okay. worth giving a try. Okay, we just have about 30 seconds okay, left. Okay, so then we've got... See if you want to taste okay, we've stevia, got stevia, OJ? Yes, we've got a sweetened okay. with uh, a stevia extract or the regular, half the sugar, half the calories. Oh, <laughs> great. What do you think? That one's Can that you taste good. the stevia? I okay. think this one has the stevia in yes, it. Yes, you're right. It does? Yep, okay. that's the one that has it. Um, so again, it's known. an option to consumers. However, if you don't like the taste, what you can do is always choose the real thing, but you've really got to choose moderate your portion size. So okay. I look at frequency Bagels. of consumption and then the size of the portion that you're consuming when okay. considering if you're going to switch. Thank you, Suzanne. Yeah. We appreciate it. Good information, and clearly there are a couple <laughs> of things that you can tell the difference. Mm -mm. <laughs> All right, Tom, over to you. Hi, right, Kim. Uh, if you can ask her about the low-fat anchovies, uh, that would be a question I'd like to... Never mind. It's almost 8 o'clock.